What's going on ladies and gentlemen? Today we're going to go ahead and unbox this 9080 Pro by Samsung that I picked up for my PlayStation 5. Sony finally allows players to expand their SSD up uh, storage with the current update which sh should have been a feature that uh, was available at launch but it is what it is. Better late than never. So we're going to go ahead and use my trusty multi-tool here and we're going to do a dangerous technique which is cutting towards yourself which should only be done by professional unboxers such as myself and yeah I went ahead and picked up the Samsung SSD because while looking for other SSDs uh, everything else was out of stock at the time and it probably is still out of stock now that the official update came out instead of the beta but yeah go, looking at this at first glance it's very small smaller than I expected it's a very delicate piece which is kind of nerve-wracking to handle but we got it eventually look at this 9080 pro in all its glory i did some cinematic shit here so i hope you're proud of me and yeah it also comes with uh another little manual which we also use our multi-tool to open because why not we had it right there uh i'm not gonna risk getting paper cuts so yeah that's about it but yeah it comes on all kinds of languages as most things does and yeah, unfortunately, the Samsung SSD, the 9080 Pro, doesn't come with a built-in heatsink. So this is what this is right here. It's a Thermal Grizzly M.2 heatsink, which comes for about 16 bucks. And most people don't know this, but if you buy the model that comes without a heatsink versus the one that does have a heatsink, you'll end up saving a couple of a couple bucks probably like 50 bucks more if you end up buying an aftermarket heatsink and it's pretty simple to uh, install here this is me installing the heatsink assembling it putting it together Lego style I should say I guess I don't know but yeah you gotta put the thermal paste on the SSD itself first to make it easier on yourself make it make sure it's flush and flat and centered against against the SSD we're gonna go ahead and do the top part here again nice and center flush and flat easy money easy dubs and there you go unfortunately I forgot to record this part but it's pretty simple to piece together just gotta layer it a little bit it, I mean it also comes with the instructions too so now we're gonna go ahead and take the bottom the stand off the PlayStation 5 and now we're gonna top slide the top cover off, bottom cover off rather. For those who don't know, it's the one on the side that has the PlayStation disc, the disc slot, or, or the one that doesn't have the PlayStation symbol rather. Now I gotta take off the SSD plate, and all you gotta do is slide that bitch in, and you should be all set. But before that, you wanna take off the captive screw that's on the left side there and move it to where the slot is for the screw on the SSD itself in order to hold it in place. And this thing was a pain in the ass to get out. The screw, the screw is so tiny, my dad had to come in and do it himself because he wanted to one-up me and show me how manly he was compared to me <laughs> and how to do it properly, I guess. But yeah, the screw, it's, you got to be careful with it because you can chew up the ends of it easily and make it more difficult. But yeah, there it is, all in its glory, tightened to torque to spec, easy. All that's left now to do is just format your SSD once you're turning your console on for the first time after installing it. And you should be all set. Now, ladies and gentlemen, if you like these videos, go ahead and hit the subscribe button, leave a like. I know it's I'm late to the party, but it is what it is. I had fun making this video, especially because I had help from my family. But yeah, subscribe, all that good shit. I'll see you guys when I see y'all. Goodbye.